What do you got? A YouTube video over there? We, uh, I've been wanting to share this with you for a while. It's a, uh, it's a documentary that was made about the insane clown posse. Have you oh, the Juggaloos. Have you seen the documentary? I've seen some of it. I it's, haven't. No. It is. It, it's. It's one of my, and it's been around for a while, but. Can we go full screen? It's one of my favorite uh, documentaries. So, how do you describe the Juggalos, anyway? It's the weird, it's like white trash rap. Yeah, they wear clown makeup. They seem to drink a lot. I don't I don't know who these people are. Do you know any of these people in your real life? I've no. I've never met any single person I, who's like, oh, I'm really into it. And they have this Gathering posse. of the Juggalos. If you Google yeah. Gathering of the Juggalos, they have these huge festivals, and they all drink this weird white trash soda. I forgot the name of it. I don't know. And... Oh, right. And they wear clown makeup. Yeah. I don't I don't know what it is, man. It's just weird that there's a band like that that's not even on your radar but can pull in this kind of, of group. Oh, there's a naked guy. A, a naked guy just walking. Now, I've been to a lot of music festivals, but... I think I would be naked guy at a music festival, to tell you the truth. <laughs> and this would. guy... And here's the guy with an enormous fat woman on his, on, on his lap. It's crazy. And then... It's... It's like <laughs> It's like Burning Man for Redneck. Look at his fucking tent. Yeah. <laughs> just a guy with no shirt on and an enormous gut just jamming. And they all bring chairs and evident and play hacky sack with clown makeup on. There you go. It's the weirdest phenomenon of all of all time. I think and, that's yeah. That's and some like big some big hip hop people yeah. that tend to be on the way out. We'll, we'll come play this festival. And I actually met a hip-hop guy that said he'd played it. And he goes, dude, they're winging bottles at your head the whole time you're <laughs> fucking... Well, that's the thing I learned at Comic-Con was that there's so many subcultures now where they aren't on your radar in the mainstream, but underground, these entire pe- they build their entire lives around these things, these people. And this is one of them. Yeah. These people, they wake up every single day and the only thing they think about is the insane clown posse. Party, family. It's like being home. This is home. We can get bucked up and don't have to worry about it. Woo woo. It's like being at home. We can right. get fucked up and don't have to worry about it. You know where you can do that also at home because <laughs> right. nobody is going to bother you. Instead of you're now at a teepee in some. That's where I do it at home. Well, exactly. Nobody bothers you. The best thing about being a juggalo is my motherfucking family. 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 They're always chanting family. Right. Yes. So you, you, your family evidently is all fat and fucked up. <laughs> right. Family. 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 Nice. Juggalo is kind of the title that bonds us together, but the truth of the matter is, is that being from different walks of life and being from cultures that are so estranged from each other, you know, I feel like everybody takes their own little bit from it. And D- does this guy look like he has any kind of job that pays over $10 an hour? I think you worked with him at the pizza place, didn't you? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Isn't it hard to have a family, though, when there's one woman to be spread among 700 <laughs> shirtless fat dudes? Dude, that's the old way. Yeah, oh, I guess so. Everybody gets to bang her, and whoever, whoever has the strongest sperm wins. It's, it's like, like, a, it's like a, 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 a pride of lions. <laughs> it's like Smurfette with clown makeup. And, man. you know, adapts that to, you know, hey, this, this speaks to me, and maybe that doesn't, you know, and somebody else might... Look, look at this guy in the background. Is you that think a that's guy? a guy? I that's think that's a, girl. a chick. Oh, okay, Dude, so maybe there girl, is a girl. That girl, when you have a gunt that sticks <laughs> out farther than your tits. The other thing that's great. It, her tits are resting on it. Her tits are resting on her gunt. And when you're, I, I love it when white people are like, I really need dreadlocks. Yes. It's like, and they don't have naturally curly hair. And it's just like, dude, give it up. Never a good idea. You're not down. No. You know, vibe with this and not so much care for that. But, you know, so you'll have juggalos that are, you know, maybe out here with their families, you know, trying to have a wholesome good time. You, know, you meet straight edge juggalos. I mean, I'm not going to deny that there's not juggalo gangs out there, you know, but to call <laughs> juggalos themselves. And they whistle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like West Side Story, but people in clown makeup. <laughs> a gang is a, a very big misconception, I think. I first became 
became a juggalo because my brother right here. I mean, I've known him for over 11 years now. Wait. He's your fucking brother. I know him, bro. <laughs> wow. He's my brother. I've known him for 11 years. It's like, wait, hold on a second. Right. They're both obviously like like 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. It's like, hell, I didn't know he was my brother. We was making out. <laughs> You know, he's not my blood, but God damn it, he'll be the closest thing I will ever have to blood. You know, none of this makes any sense. What kind of family do you have? We're all inbred as hell. <laughs> and just the scene through kind people, you know, kind people that people look down upon because they listen to weird shit. They didn't like their music or their appearance, so they turned them away. This motherfucker's no, been turned away by some of the so-and-so kind people churchgoers i go every sunday pay my dues Be and they turn him down because of because he looks like a fucking piece <laughs> of shit the he reason that he's getting turned away is because he's high as fuck he hasn't said anything his eyes haven't opened and he has lots of metal stuck through his cheek i'm getting discriminated against you look homeless right <laughs> <laughs> you look homeless take a bath <laughs> i'm too busy doing whip hits nigga <laughs> oh man Wow, where is the meeting of the Juggalos? Because we should go and we should we should broadcast the show from. I tried live. to get this. The, I tried to get this guy at Rockstar to, to. I said we should go. He's like, dude, we will get knifed. No, you won't. They just said everyone's a family. They you accept everyone. You put a little everyone. makeup on. You hop around. You fit right in. <laughs> You need makeup. The way he looks and talks. This motherfucker has helped me pay my rent, took me in. He's done more shit for me than my own family. And, and he comes on my tits just that's like how my I became a just like my dad. <laughs> juggalette through family love. A juggalette. juggalette. I love a juggalette. It's a lifestyle. It ain't you know, a music choice. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Right. <laughs> Which leads to what exactly? What do you think this is going to lead to? It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you know, do what you gotta do. You don't fucking hate on people because they're different. You know, you see the, the difference in people and you just love them for who they are, you know? Anybody can come here and fucking have a good time. Me, personally, I can't describe what a juggalo is. They're just, they're a special breed. They're just... <laughs> This chick is sitting in her car, which looks like an 88 Impala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta say, she looks like a schnooky <laughs> juggalette. She looks like a schnooky with metal all in her face. <laughs> Why is everyone overweight? I'm being serious. I, yeah. They're, I'm, dude, I'm, they're I'm all, being dead serious, dude. Because well, you have seriously. a fucking metabolism level that fucking absorbs everything, right? But why dude, is every person who listens to this one band they're way all fat overweight as fuck. and not wearing a shirt? I love them. I just love them. Like, I can't. <laughs> Is she holding a dart? Like, they're just so carefree and free spirited, and they don't give a fuck. It's what I love. Because you have fat, you fucking. <laughs> she holding a dart? I'm serious. No, that don't. Could no. you fuck that? No. First off, she's eating. She, no, she's got a lollipop. Oh, la okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I do whatever the fuck I want and don't give it to two fucking shits. <laughs> um, I don't know about the party. I haven't quite moved from the car in a while. Because <laughs> I'm too fucking high to Whoa. move from the car. Yeah, you know, anyone over the age of nine who's eating a lollipop, you got to figure they're on something, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Since. Because I am fucked up on. E and vodka. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she's fucked up on E ding, and, ding, and vodka. Ding. Dude, we're all like family. What do yeah. you mean? Oh, we're on E and vodka. <laughs> yes. Oh. Show us some of your tattoos. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. They've all got the juggalo. Oh, no. The tattoo, which is the guy running with the meat cleaver. <sighs> Big fat guy on a chair. This dude was the only way I got that vomit out. off me was to get the fucking raid. What happened? I got fucked up. <laughs> I was drinking Caribou Lou on the fucking carnival rides and fucking. That will do got it every up. time. <laughs> Apparently, I fucking passed out, and then my fucking homeboy fucking comes, shows up out of nowhere and gets me back to the fucking tent. Man, apparently I fucking fell out in the middle of the road. Apparently, I had motherfuckers come up to me and ask me how I am. That's how bad it was. It was a. <laughs> 
it's great. We get together and we black out for four days straight. <laughs> right. Dude, we were. We, I went to this music festival in Connecticut this summer called Gathering of the Vibes, not Gathering of the Juggalos, but it's just sort of like a bunch of deadheads and stuff. But they always have like a bunch of. Uh, they like Zappa plays Zappa. You know, Frank Zappa's son was there, and right. there's always some other like cool stuff going on. But um, this guy was f- fucked up as shit. And came and stumbled into my boy's tent and just laid down next to him and went to sleep. Completely fucked up. And my boy, like, jumped out of his tent like, what the fuck? You this didn't is, kick him out. This is like 8 in the morning. What? And so, uh, dude slept in his tent for like three hours. <laughs> and then... That's cool. Dude, he comes... So he comes to, he comes out of the tent and he's like got this freaked out look, look on his... You know when you wake up in a place and you don't know where the fuck you are? Mm-hmm. You always have that f- freaked out look on your face. Especially when there's a dude sleeping he, next to you. Especially when my well, pants no. are around my ankles. <laughs> no, I mean, when, when he when he came into my boy's tent and and fell asleep next to him, yeah. he jumped out. My, oh, okay. my my boy jumped out. Oh, gotcha. And because uh, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. It was time to fucking get up. But this guy had been partying all fucking night. Gotcha. And so he wakes up at like 11 o'clock in the morning and he comes out of the tent all wild eyed like, oh. And he looks at us and we go, how you doing? He goes... That's good shit. And just stumbles <laughs> off and leaves his shoes. <laughs> I don't know how those people make money. How do they exist in the I, world? I, I, just, I really don't understand it's, it. It's insane. Like and then, these people on this video. And then this chick that we were talking to who was like, you know, a couple of tents over or whatever. She goes, that asshole crawled into my tent and I kicked him the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. A spectacle and shit, and I don't give a fuck because that was righteous. <laughs> I'll tell you for real about being a juggalo, man. That shit made me the motherfucker I am today. Yeah, yeah unemployed. <laughs> and blacking out. Yeah. <laughs> blacking out on carnival rides. Yeah, whose idea is it to mix a lot of alcohol and drugs with carnival rides? That's the one thing. You ever been to Oktoberfest, by the way, in Munich? No. Is the worst idea ever. It's all just endless tents of beer where you have to drink gallons and gallons of beer. And then the other half of it is carnival rides that go round and round. That's what it is. Brilliant. It's a terrible combination. Honest to God, man. If it wasn't for fucking Jay and Shaq, that shit would not be on. I would be... I don't want to fucking think the kind of motherfucker I'd be. I grew up to be a fucking decent, fucking good-hearted, good-natured motherfucker. I'm a fucking nice person. I could cook like a... Wait. If if he weren't part of this scene, he would grow up to be a good person. Yeah. Is that, is that... I don't know what he's saying. Motherfucker, he makes some fucking straight up fucking grub, fucking chicken fried steak, <laughs> fucking collard greens, fucking mashed potatoes, all that fucking good ass sausage gravy, biscuits, fucking everything, man. I, I feel am like a motherfucker. I want to find a... <laughs> Dude, this guy is talking about. Somehow, being part of the scene right. has made him hungry for collard greens. I Dude. love that sausage gravy. <laughs> Damn. Any ass little bitch, and uh, make her fat, and we can lose weight together, and we'll bond. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Maniac. First year of gathering. That's what's up. Tell us about yourself. About myself, I'm a happy motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, it's really nice for you to see an 18-year-old that has smoked so many menthol cigarettes Dude. and she sounds like an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> and she's got those thin dreadlocks, too, Yeah, she's got those thin, shitty dreadlocks, and her teeth look like somebody punched a piano. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Living life day to day, doing my thing. Yeah. Uh, What's Maniac all about? Maniac. Being happy, doing fucking shit that she loves to do. <laughs> Being crazy, main family. Being happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, most people think I'm on drugs because I'm always happy. <laughs> yeah, because you slur every word. That's why people think <laughs> you're, you're on talking dr- to your kids. Right. And you probably suck a dude off for five dollars. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm high on life. <laughs> no, you're high on something. <laughs> My voice is gone because I've been screaming so much. <laughs> so much fun times here and family love. <laughs> what do you love about all this? Dude, oh, are you serious? Dude, she she was obviously in a car accident I'm because serious. she's hit her head very hard. Seriously, what? What drug is she on where that makes her do that? Anybody tells me, I'm high on life. It's like, no, you're just dumb as fuck. But what is, I've never been around somebody that's been I've never been high on life. The only people I meet that are high on life are dumb as fuck. Right. They're they're high on life because they can't figure out, like, how to get out of the house in the morning. Like, this is exciting (laughs) because they're so fucking stupid. Wow. What is she on? What is this drug? This, Life. Oh, yeah. man. It's, I, what I love to think about this is a, it's a puzzle. And each of every one of us is an integral piece that puts a big picture. And once we're all together, it puts a big picture. 
<laughs> what are you saying right now? She has problems with peas. <laughs> the big picture. Big I'm going to pay him a fair <laughs> What? She's like that droopy dog cartoon that used to come on. So what the fuck? <laughs> you know what, though? If you go to this gathering of the Juggaloos, you know you're going to get some because these yeah, girls you are, are get... so damn easy. I haven't seen a sexy one yet. No, we're so not that's sex- to see You would the screw big... a corpse. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? Now? Yeah. I'll tell you what. When a Juggalo and a Juggalette is someone who's down with the clown until they're dead in the ground. Uh, what's this up? <laughs> What did she just say? She said, you're down with the clown I, I until you're subtitles. dead in the ground. <laughs> I can't fucking understand I, a word she's saying. I have no idea. <laughs> That's like a foreign <laughs> language. I'm down with the clown until I'm dead in the ground. What if this group breaks up? No, what dude, they've got like a do? million. You should watch their promos. Every year for the Gathering of the Juggalos, they have this amazing promo that they put online. Yeah. Uh, that's this terribly produced like 20-minute thing with this chick narrating it. It's horrible. They got that one song. Have you ever heard the song that they have? It's called like um, where they're they're in awe of all the things that are happening in the world. You know what I'm talking about? And they're like, I wonder where like uh, yeah. math comes from. <laughs> yeah. so I wonder what what happens. How does water boil? It's like, dude, it's called science, that's you what, dumb clown, right, because bastard. That's what I'm talking about. They're just like, right? Life is so interesting. <laughs> it's it's like. I wonder where I put fire under this water and it's bubbling. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's eighth grade earth science. Right. You dumb you so, clown you, bastard! You, you flunked out of school. Everything <laughs> is a mystery. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's called mystery. You're right. That's what it's called. I think. Is it? Yeah. It's like this. The world is a. It, that's what it's called. Right. The whole thing is the world's a big mystery. Where does a rainbow come from? It, well, dude, it'll be dark as fuck outside, and all of a sudden, a big glowing fireball comes <laughs> up in the air that I then worship. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, spray painting somebody's face. Do you think it's good to spray paint somebody's face? Probably not, no. (laughs) And the guy's got a cigarette, you see that? Yeah, that's pretty good. He's using spray paint to spray paint somebody's face. Actually, it really burns. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, because it wasn't meant to go on skin. Yeah. For the body or the face. On the face. Yeah. That's no, you really. Never put spray paint on your face. That is you really spray paint. paint on your face. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah, it really actually burns. You really shouldn't put spray paint on your face. Meanwhile, a guy just spray painted his face <laughs> black, and then he's just gonna walk off and just leave it there. Right. The and the guy the who was spray painting was smoking a cigarette. I was waiting for that to light, and all of a sudden he's fucking lit his boy up. Oh, Jesus. He's, he's almost in black face. <laughs> Oh, and he's going for green paint now. Get currently at the moment, I think. Um... <laughs> okay. Okay. Woo-hoo! Wait, is she naked? Okay, so this next scene is literally a, a chick with the shittiest looking dreadlocks because the dreadlocks are about six inches long that's coming off the top of her head. Yeah, you remember late stage Coolio back in the 90s <laughs> where he had that one like, mop? Of, yeah. yeah. And so she's just like standing there looking like she's had... If you look right here, it looks like she's had a little slicey surgery. Like maybe yeah. maybe they've there's, taken some kind of uterus out or something. Or maybe a baby has come out. Last time I checked, I was... Uh, 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 tripping pretty damn hard on some good mushrooms. Right now? So, uh, yes, keep it trippy, legalize everything. All right. <laughs> it's nice. He just pulled. He's got pants that that are, are he's not wearing. But he's got uh, he's got pants that he's not wearing. That he's carrying around that he sticks his hand down into the into uh, the pocket to bring drugs out. Meanwhile, this woman is naked and standing there, and some bald headed dude with sunglasses <laughs> has come up and said something to her, whispered something to her, yeah. and she looks a little bit offended. Yeah, I think he just said, "Can I?" Can I, yeah, finger dude, bang at, you look, when you're dead? Dude, look at her profile. Whoa. The, the, probably the most unsexy woman you've ever seen. No. Yes. Over here. Oh, he wants a picture Control with me. Controlled anarchy, go. that's what we're about. We can party and still maintain ourselves appropriately. That is my statement. N- meanwhile, yes. this guy's getting a picture with his girlfriend, and the guy's l- licking her tits. Yeah. It's a shame when you're that young and your boobs look like that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, they really look like they've they've taken a hammering, haven't they? Well, maybe it's because you had three children get cesarean out of her. Oh, my God. 
This is. Wow. They love the. They love the, the. You know, you know what's weird though, dude, is that each one of their votes in the upcoming presidential election counts as much as yours. <laughs> right. Well, they're probably going to make a better decision than I will. Yeah, I probably will. Who are these people? Where are they? Where do they live? What do they do? How Drugs. do they survive? How do they make money? How are they not dead? I, I thought she was sexy. <laughs> you, you thought, thought that, that chick girl? was sexy? Really? I would have sucked on those titties. I've got no problem Dude, with that. Dude, that chick looked that, awful. No, that body That was chick looked awful. Kind of dumpy, man. I'll do a dumpy one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's just showing the campground I've now. It's just trash. I've probably done a thousand with this. <laughs> The whippets don't stop. Oh, they're doing you know what? The gathering don't stop. You nitrous. Do. That's what I say. That's another thing. People think we're stupid. I mean, <laughs> not at all. I'm the stupid. Hardly. You know, we, we got a couple, you know, in the, in the wow, group or whatever. Wow, ones. <laughs> yeah, every group has them. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, I've any situation, you know, you're going to have that one person or two people that's fucking... This is the weirdest scene. You've got two white trash dudes with a fat black chick, and they're just sitting there doing whippets. Never a good idea. Dude, Whippets. any any event you go to and people are fucked up on nitrous, it's it. it they're just, and I've done a lot of nitrous. It, just, it makes dude, it makes you dumb as fuck. You just and you just get into a hippie crack hole. It's you just sit there and keep doing it over and over. Apparently, it works the way that you feel high because it's literally killing your brain. You, dude, you can feel brain cells running out of your ears. <laughs> It's out there. Yeah, you know, just because we got a couple of jugglers that are out there. Most of us, for the fucking most part, are the same, you know? I mean, and that's why I got the hats around my neck. I like people to know where I'm coming from right off the bat. <laughs> That's why I've got tats on my neck. I like people to know where I'm coming from right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him. He's... Maybe I shouldn't employ this fucking psychopath. How's he ever going to get a job? <laughs> no, it's funny. No surprises. Yeah. Somebody's been walking around all day. Have you seen this guy? He's got a hatch man tattoo. About, about 15,000 of us. We all got funny. <laughs> we all got hatch man tattoos. In various tattoos. locations. Where's yeah, your hatch All day. Man? What are you doing? I got to walk around with my hatch man tattoo, bitch. What are you doing? Sucking a big night nitrous balloon. He's gathering a juggalo. He's going to have that voice, too. You know he's going to have that nitrous voice. Ha, 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 ha. Yep, here it comes. What? Have you never done nitrous? I've, this is, is where that I want to come every year, every August. Matter of fact, I have quit jobs to come here before. <laughs> and RV, guy. Yeah. Dude, he is fucked so up. He, <laughs> is he passed out? Is he dead? He, he's Look, just dude, staring I need down. like a second week in oh, August off. And if we you can't, can't get it that. off, then I'm, I'm putting my two weeks in. It's, it's, it has happened. It. it has definitely happened. Meanwhile, this guy cannot speak anymore. Yeah, he can't speak. He's, I mean, and he's got Juggalo tattooed right above his belly button ugh. that's all stretched out from the fat. So is that the same thing as a Whippet? You know, we used to yep. suck the... Okay, yep, I've done same that thing. Before. The different atmosphere, like all these people, I mean, I don't even know how big this place is, but, you know, hearing all the music in the woods and shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's the fucking best. It's the greatest. It is. I mean, you sit here all night long and just have a good time. Ooh, that's what's up. I came here with this guy. He's performing, so I'm watching him. And then I meet this girl who's here with her boyfriend, baby daddy. But she likes me better, and we're chill here for two days. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Whoa. He, he, Your cock is bigger. <laughs> he, met a, he met a girl yep. who has had a child with another guy, but she likes him better. Mm -hmm. And so he's hanging out with her. It's like a big redneck swinger party. <laughs> yeah. Until yesterday. No camping. Greatest time ever at the gathering. I've been to six of them. And then we're going to go watch Head P.E. And then all of a sudden she just gets ripped away. And I look back and her boyfriend's got her like this. Carrying her away. But it was awesome. We fucking bonded. Juggalo, juggalette fucking love. Awesome traded numbers. So, <laughs> so he met this chick that he was fucking, and then the boyfriend shows up and yeah. is like, listen, you high bitch. <laughs> right. Stop fucking this pe drunk piece of trash out in the fucking road. We'll be talking more. Good shit. To the gathering, awesome fucking juggalo love. Group tune, single barrel. 
<laughs> I, got, like, I like the guy just staring at the whiskey bottle this entire time, and his, his, the only thing he says is, single barrel. <laughs> like, this is some sophisticated stuff. It's in a single barrel. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Woot, woot. Yeah, woot, woo. That's all me in the ball. Carnival rides. That's nice. Oklahoma 918 straight go hard. Chicago. I'm on dialysis. What? Oh my god. I don't even understand what he just said. Oklahoma straight 918 go hard. Yeah. I'm on dialysis. dialysis. (laughs) What is that? Oh my god. That was fucking fantastic. That was amazing. Oklahoma 918 straight go Chicago. hard. I'm on dialysis, man. <laughs> I've been to treatment in Harrisburg the last couple of days. I'm still fucking here. Still I'm still here. getting the fuck down alive. and I'm still, still fucking doing it. Let's start this shit right now. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. My vital <laughs> organs have shut down. He's not looking good, dude. His hair is all patchy. <laughs> he does not look. He looks like he might die my, at the gathering of the My Jugglers. vital organs are literally shutting down <laughs> that I have to get hooked up to a machine to clean my blood. But I'm right. here doing drugs and drinking. <laughs> and I'm 24 years old. <laughs> so what is 918 Oklahoma? Do you know, Leslie? No, I don't know. It was okay. 405 in my motherfucking borough. Okay. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? 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 That's right. <laughs> Buffet mega church, Nikki. <laughs> My kidneys have failed me. I've been on it about nine years. Waiting on a kidney transplant. I have a rare blood type. I can't get a transplant right now. My rare blood so, type is whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wonder why your kidneys shut down, you dumb bastard. You think it has anything to do right. with the, what you're about to do for the next right. week in a field somewhere? I'm, I'm OB negative uh, Jack Daniels. <laughs> I need to find another right. person here that is also made of liquid right. liquid booze. Oh, my God. Who's, who doesn't have 30% of their blood as spray paint that was just sprayed into their pores? I've, I've been huffing paint for 10 years. Strangely, uh, my, my entire organs have been shutting down. Right. Oh. It's just a bad luck it's story. It's all it is. I'm getting back on the transplant list now. Hopefully, I'll live another five years so that I can get a transplant. If not, I'm going to live life the best I can right here with the people I love. Jake, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. There's no luck about what's happening to your right. body, dude. The reason that uh, – here's the thing. To be on a transplant the transplant list, you have to be straight and narrow. Right. Like, you can't be partying. Uh-oh. You can't be – Here goes my opportunity. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be fucking around. Like, it's, there's the – Dude, as soon as people start having a negative lifestyle, they will kick you off that fucking right. list in a second. Why do you want to save this dude's life? He'll be dead in two years anyway. Exactly. He listens to terrible music. <laughs> it's something special that you can only have one time. Enjoy the shit out of it. And that's real. That's 100%. That's straight from the heart. <laughs> and his friend is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm high on mushrooms. Right. You know, I will say it's good to watch this because these people actually make Wayne's lifestyle look like uh, yeah. very Wayne, subdued. Wayne you look looks, healthy, dude. Yeah, you look healthy compared to this guy whose organs are shutting I down. I ran a marathon last month, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that. Gathering of the motherfucking Juggalos. I love this place, and I love you guys, and you guys, and you guys. We have alcohol, and we've got explosives. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love you guys. Why? Because we got stuff that can blow our hands off. How do they get a hand? their hands on explosives, dude? Oh, my God. Why? Oh, that's hysterical. Why? Oh, my God. Let me show you how great we are. No, please don't. It takes a big swig. Now put the beer down. No, no, now he's going to blow up something. And now he's lighting something. He's lighting like it looks like a piece of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Wayne blew up a phone booth with in 1982. <laughs> 
Dude, the shockwave shut the microphone on the fucking camera. Ah! <laughs> People screaming. Oh, you scared me. And I'm not usually scared. That was pretty cool, though. Thanks for having me. I'll see you next time. I'll be here all fucking day doing the same shit, drinking and blowing stuff up. <laughs> No, you won't. Somebody's going to cart your ass off to prison, dude. You know, fireworks, like explosives and booze always work really well together. Jesus. This is insane. These people are insane, dude. It really is nuts. I'm not usually scared. That was pretty cool, though. Thanks for having me. I'll see you next time. I'll be here all fucking day doing the same shit, drinking and blowing stuff up. Yeah. Yo, peep it. You would go from leisure to seizure the second you peeked into my freezer. Judge a bitch by whether or not I'd eat her. If I would, I'm eager to leave her stitched at the beaver. Cause the- Here's the thing. White people need to understand. There's one decent white rapper. Now, I'm sorry. There's sort of two. There's, there's uh, you know, there's the Beastie Boys, mm-hmm. which, which are pretty fantastic, mm-hmm. right? And then there's Slim Shady. Mm-hmm. And if you're not in either camp... Right. Shut the fuck up. Also, if you wear clown makeup while you're rapping. Right. Don't rhyme. Also, shut up. Slut with a cunt shut me, nobody fucking need her. Then I proceed with the procedure on sterile. Clotch a blow with the barrel of a fresh and bucked heater. What's sicker than sticking your dick in a cyst? Dr. P.I. M.I.C.'s fixing a rip. Fix- he talking about fucking assist. I don't know. I, I really, th- somebody got their, if he their, thinks, if their he, beaver stitched up. If he thinks this is going to like be a number one on iTunes, he's got some <laughs> issues. Dude, I mean, like, that's fucked up. Dude's got mad flow, yo. Yeah. Oh, no. I yeah. Uh, maybe that was some Insane Clown Posse lyrics that he was Oh, spitting. maybe so. And I'm sure there's going to be people that, hey, dude, Insane Clown Posse is so good, I can't believe you guys have fucking trashed him. They're so fucking Must I? amazing. A gun is not a knife with a knife. You could surprise your victim, slice and rip him while I still wide. He's a fucking serial killer. What is he talking about? Still high. Get high twice because I'm bipolar. Fuck, you'll be stuck on my side when your life's over. Give me that white cola, a bladder, a twice dip. My mind flips the crisis. Try to find where my knife sticks. Die, bitch. Slips out my lips while I'm fucking an after. I don't understand why chicks won't go out with me. <laughs> this is insane. The dick, the broken broomstick gets shoved in. Wow. Yeah. You're going to get a broomstick up your dick. Why are you guys here? Why are we here? For the family, man. For oh, everything, yeah. dude. Carnival, for the family. Something draws us here every fucking time. Like, get away from the kids for a little bit. One days a year, we look uh, forward to this. Did you just say get away from the kids? Yes. Yes. These people should not have children. <laughs> Nobody yeah. here should have children. What? Uh, yeah. So you guys, uh, do you guys have kids together? Or yeah, we got two. My daughter's love is she's seven. Dude, she is so high, she can barely put his foot. Look at her face. I know. She is high as fuck. And my son is Silas. He's four. What are y'all doing tonight? Just uh, hanging right just, now. Well, we just, you know, drink a little bit. No, Probably no. get all stoned and no, smoke some tonight. hash. If <laughs> <laughs> we left our kids on the side of the road and arrest <laughs> up. Wow. I don't understand why life's not working out for me. <laughs> yeah. Chill and then yeah. do it all over again the next day. And what happens Monday? Back to reality or what? Yeah, drive back. Drive home. back 22 hours. 22, yeah. <laughs> 22 hours? Where are you driving? Canada? <laughs> no, this is in the middle of. I, I, I forgot <laughs> where they have it in, like Indiana or some kind Dude. of like weird place. So bizarre. We should go. We should go. Jesus. Dude, there's a. A trailer that says showers on it, and it's been like... <laughs> it's been graffitied. It's been graffitied. <laughs> and not a single person has taken advantage of these showers. Dude, this music but, festival that I went to this summer, it was like the line to the bathroom were too long. So people were literally just pulling off to the side and just pissing. Did it start to stink after it, a while? Dude, it stunk like a motherfucker. Dude, I I so did that. I wouldn't even been on the fucking line. There's never been a festival that hasn't turned into like... Just, just pissing all over yeah, the place. Yeah, raw sewage everywhere. <laughs> Mud. Oh. Yeah, chick coming out of the showers, the nice little gun. <laughs> wow. Dude, it's so Everyone great. is fat. Dude, uh, what's the greatest is when you see an enormous fat person that is sunburned like <laughs> second degree burns because they fell asleep drunk as fuck in the sunshine. Shoving a funnel cake into their pie hole. Look, look at the food. 
Italian sausage, yep. pork chops, turkey legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and look at that. Not one skinny person in that no. entire fucking picture. No. <laughs> There's a fat girl sitting in the grass with it's it's my 18th birthday on the back of her fucking shirt. Oh, no. She looks like she's eaten <laughs> for the last 18 fucking years, just f- fat as shit. My name is Ashley. Uh, I'm from Muncie, Indiana, and this is my baby Amelia May. What? That's my baby. Fucking six months pregnant. I'm fucking rocking in with the homies, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a pregnant girl. Yes, and she has a cigarette in her hand. Uh, and she's rocking it with the homies. Yeah. I got a mini juggaloo inside of her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, My dude. name is Ashley. Wait, look at this. There's a fat juggalo on a scooter. <laughs> like a, a little rascal. Like he's so... I didn't yeah. even see that in the background. There's a guy... That's he, pretty good. He's so fat <laughs> that he can't even walk. So he's like, you know what I need? <laughs> Motorized transportation. I'm from Muncie, Indiana, and this is my baby, Amelia May. That's my baby. Fucking six months pregnant, and I'm fucking rocking in with the homies, you know? <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a, uh, a bleeding uterus in about ten <laughs> minutes with all this booze and shit. Yeah. Dude, you know this This did not end well. No. The that, baby got aborted by hash. Dude, when when a girl is standing there pregnant and smoking... No, it's never and, cause you, and you know she's drinking, too. Oh, well, for sexy. sure. For That's sure. sexy. <laughs> shit. So another generation yeah. of uh, ninjas? Yes, definitely, Absolute. definitely. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a definite, yeah. definite next generation, and it's gonna be fucking sweet, you know. Dude, look I at mean, these. We're gonna- look at these chicks. So there's five chicks here. One of whom looks to be like missing teeth and, and in her fifties with her her tits. If this thing came off, her tits would hit the ground. <laughs> That's just a jean skirt on. And mm. the other thing I love is these chicks that wear. It's sort of the goth look, but they wear all black to hide the fact that they're fat as fuck. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dude, truly, I've not seen one fuckable chick in this whole documentary. Keep it going. It We're going to keep the old shit in there. Our village is juggalos. Wait, what? Our, she says it takes a village. Okay. The, 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 the fat, old, toothless lady <laughs> who has to be in her late 50s, if you look at her. Forget hot chicks. I'm just looking for somebody who's coherent. Right. I don't she think says, I found that She either. says it takes a village. Well, to do what? To, 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 to ruin to, your baby's brain? To Evidently, to collect unemployment. I, uh. I mean, I... I don't know what kind of this is not a this is a, a village on federal subsidies. I was going to say this this video is going to make me vote for Mitt Romney, dude. Mm-hmm. You've done the it impossible. Takes, it, really, dude? When you see this side of America, yeah, I'm like fuck the Democrats. That's what I'm saying. I'm like we got to we got to do something. Vote Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I see this shit. I'm just like hell yeah, you know, because because you get into this liberal mindset of like yeah we want to help people and people are all good and then you see these drunk fucks pregnant as hell that's what i'm saying i'm just gonna make some babies and let let all you taxpayers raise them like fuck you bitch they should just run this entire video in ohio put a mitt romney <laughs> logo at the end and just throw down the mic and roll out this the is village it. to raise a child and this is the village i want my child to be raised by no all right. I was tra- this is the village that I want my child to be raised by. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean the village of the guy doing nitrous oxide hits over there? <laughs> With and the, clown makeup? And the, and, the, and the fat guy passed out? Or, or the person on acid talking about m- <laughs> fucking somebody's open wound? Uh, uh, before I was a juggalo. So, like, it was a little bit weird because, like, a lot of the jugglers smoke weed. I started being, when I, when I considered myself a juggalo, and I started telling the jugglers that I was straight edge, they just accepted it. I don't come here for the parties, I don't come here for the, the music or the rides, I come here for the family. Side SK, and everybody just accepts how, who I am and what I do. Here, here's what's happened, and we, mm-hmm. we've touched on this in previous shows about how, like, hip-hop uh, in other countries will try to sort of adopt the, you yep. know, the urban thing. This is, this is white trash attempting to be like south central la because mm-hmm. they're all throwing like gang signs mm-hmm. here's the thing if you have abandoned burnt out cars in your front yard don't throw fucking crip signs at me you, <laughs> you know what i mean you're not hard you're just fucking trash like calm down it's unbelievable and i love it a lot 
I couldn't ask for a better lifestyle. Everyone here has jobs. All of us have jobs, and we're all straight edge. I graduated from college. I graduated from high school. I, I, I just lost my job, but... <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Dude, if, yeah. you're, if you're sober... And you can't even fucking get it together. <laughs> like, I'm, I graduated high school. Yeah, I graduated you, high school. What do you want? You're a, supposed to. You want, right, a, med- you right. want a medal, motherfucker? You want a sticker? <laughs> You're supposed to. I, gradu- dumb I graduated high school. Ooh, that's amazing. I'm a manager where I work. I'm, so. a, manager. I'm a manager where I work. What do you right. do? Sabaro? Right. You heard a stride, right? <laughs> Come on. We're also right. at my job. Another thing, I don't care if you've been down for one day or, or ten years, you're still the same to me. Exactly. We're all the same. Exactly. One big family. That little couple right there, my family. Whoa. I don't get this whole acceptance thing. I, I really don't. This, I, there, I, where do you I, go where you're shunned because of I, who you are? I know. Hey, we're all family. Well, that's what they say always at Comic-Con, too. Is, oh, I am put on this costume and nobody judge me. I don't get that. What? Where? Why is the world so cold that you're getting judged? Yeah, all the finally time? I can be around other degenerates. Yeah, it, they it, don't make fun of me for dressing up as <laughs> yeah. Captain America. <laughs> Jesus, being a juggalo doesn't mean you're not fit for society. That's some fucking bullshit. Nah, I think I'm gonna go with. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna go I wrong. Think, I think I'm gonna go with the not fit for society part. <laughs> yeah, every juggalo here has a life outside of this. No. Nope. <laughs> Right. No, and one that wakes no, up don't. in shame. Yeah. No, they do not. <laughs> and it's probably so different it'll flip your fucking wig. I met a brain surgeon. I met a brain surgeon here. I didn't. Know, I don't remember meeting that guy. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, I've been to a lot of music festivals. There's a lot of drugs. I've had a good time. Mm-hmm. I've never met a brain surgeon. No, I think this is the guy met a brain surgeon right after he ate a bag of mushrooms. So yeah, he was tripping on acid. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. He was riding a big unicorn. And he yo, told me, he told me he was a brain surgeon, <laughs> yeah. so I believed him. Yeah, he, he had a juggalo uh, a tattoo on his neck, <laughs> and he was doing whip hits. And I'm like, wow, you perform brain surgery? That's amazing. Let me get a high five. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna start going to college to become a doctor and shit. No, you're not. No, I'm no, sorry. You're not. I never want to be. I never want to be served by a doctor that's like it says and shit. Yeah, hey, exactly. by the way, you got cancer and shit. Yeah. Yo, you got high cholesterol and shit. <laughs> oh, oh yes. thanks, Doctor Juggalo. <laughs> How about my baby? How's my baby turning out? Oh, you out? can smoke and shit. Don't yeah. worry about it. School, man. I'm gonna Dude, accept you how you are. Shit, th- third trimester, you can still be <laughs> drinking fucking Jack Daniels. Don't worry about that. It's all cool oh. and shit. Dude, we're all family. Yeah. I really want to be like. Uh, like somebody to be able to fucking help people out and shit you know what I mean like in any way just being able to help people is basically why I like like living <laughs> good yeah here's how you help people get a job and don't be a drag right. on society yeah why don't we, out that why don't we drop the high ambitions of being a doctor <laughs> yeah. and why don't we look at fucking slinging pizza or turning burgers how about not dead before the age of 30 <laughs> right. yeah, here's what we got right when you're at Harvard and your your entrance exam, why do you want? I want to be a doctor and shit. Oh, you're you're in, sir. You're in. Wow, boy, he's got the passion. He says and shit after everything. Man, I'm a virgin, dude. I want to get laid. <laughs> this guy's got a sign around his neck that says "21-year-old virgin." Whoa. That's the place to do it at. It's the motherfucking gathering, man. You're gonna make it happen. Probably not. Not knowing me, man. <laughs> not knowing me, I can't get me no pussy. Dude, if you're 21 and still can't, when, when did you lose your virginity? This guy really? looks like, do you remember the monster they had chained up in Goonies? The yes, movie, yes, you know, yes, yes, and the exactly. Bit, uh, cross-eyed. When did you lose your virginity? What, like, how old were you? 19. What the fuck? What the fuck? fuck? Why? What's wrong really? With that? Yeah. What do you mean, what's wrong with that? Dude, you could have been you could have been called to war and you still hadn't <laughs> had any pussy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what the fuck? 19? Was it special? I think 19. I don't know. Was it like remember. prom night or something? Prom I was, night? I was out of high school. Dude, he then. was in college at that yeah. point. He was close yeah, to... Yeah, you know, you don't want to just get down with any girl in your high school. I didn't want to give it to any girl. What, you... what year did you lose your... I mean, how old were you? 12. Oh, that's right. I remember we've gone over this before. 12. <laughs> yes. Thought it was you don't even know... Blast it. No, I'm not saying I know what I was... I realized much later on in life, you have no idea what the fuck you were doing. Well, wasn't this girl, I think you've told us this before, wasn't she like 35 years old? Oh, no, no, no. She was the same age as me. She was 12? Yeah. 
It started You're with a some, molester. Started with some finger blasting in the hallway and some heavy petting. <laughs> <laughs> You get, nothing even comes out at age twelve. Y- if you think so, Does wait. It? And in the hallway, in, in what school? In, no, in a hallway of, of one of these apartment houses that I lived in. Did you know what you were doing? This is like an episode of the. That's Wire. what I want to say. You knew what you were doing in the essence of you were having sex, but did you know it? Did you have your move and your technique down by any means? No fucking way. In hell. Did she <laughs> even enjoy this? I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't really stick around. Me and say, did like, you enjoy this? I came. That was good enough for me. Wow. Yeah. Romantic Moments <laughs> with Big Wayne. 12, Twelve years old. Yeah, sixth grade. <laughs> and you were still in school at that point. I want to say, I could pretty much almost give you a date. Like, I want to say, I know it was like the second week in June because it was coming to the end of the school year. And we played hooky. Okay. Hooky. Hooky. Even at age 12. Even at age 12. Wow. What, Dude, that, I didn't even know what my penis was at age 12. I'm trying to think I don't know what now. I, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I was doing at age 12. Were you masturbating at least? What grade was that? Six. Sixth grade for me. I, but I he remember flunked it because I he flunked a couple of grades, so you got to... I never flunked a grade. You, you didn't flunk a grade? No, I left some grades out. You left eighth grade, right? Tenth. All right. All right, so you were in the right grade at age 12. Wow, sixth grade. I yeah. That's middle school. I mean, that's... And I left, I want to say, elementary school and was going to go to junior high school. You did or you didn't? No, I, yes. We left elementary and then went to junior high school. That's Right, at sixth grade. At sixth grade, yeah. Wow. You use rednecks have a whole different school system. Than no, us. we Northerners, yes. don't. <laughs> yes, we, have a whole do. diff- we have a whole different school system. You got middle school. You don't have middle school? No middle school. It's called junior high. Hmm, okay. Well, it's the same thing. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. I was with seventh, eighth, and ninth. And in high school was 10th, 11th, 12th. Oh, okay. Man. Hey, but if you want. That's the place to do it at. Yeah. It's a motherfucking gathering, man. Yeah. You think you're going to make it happen? Probably not, not knowing me, man. Oh, fuck. What's up? I'm me, man. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> Whoa. He can't get laid because he's insane. Well, you know, and compared to all the other people we've seen there, he's par for the course. It's not like he's better or worse than anyone else. I don't. Why won't they have him? I like to stab people. Well, there, <laughs> here you go. And they're right does on that answer your question? Yes, it does. That's not the line you want to use to romance the ladies into the sack. I like to stab people. Out of all the what? things, out of all the things that could be done to me, stabbing is the one thing I don't Ooh, want dad. fucking done to. Me. I'd like, rather be fucking shot. If yeah. you know what I'm saying. What a fucked up. Why haven't you <laughs> lost your virginity? Because I like <laughs> to, to stab, stab people. people. <laughs> right. Can we, can we get over there? Can we overcome this? It's like, hey, there might be a girl there who likes to be stabbed. Well, you don't know, just, dude. Like, you hold her dreadlocks and you stick a knife in her. Wow. Wow. Dude, I want to get laid. <laughs> That's the place to do it at. It's a motherfucking gathering, man. Think you're going to make it happen? Probably not, not knowing me, man. What's up? I'm me, man. (laughs) I'm insane. (laughs) I like to stab people. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Fight! Oh, so they're doing beer bongs. In their mouth. Have you guys heard about this new thing called um, butt bong? Well, didn't uh, that that porno guy that we interviewed had, like, uh, butt bongs, right, Wayne? You watched that video. He had butt bongs, but I think Reed's talking about something different. Yeah, it's this thing. uh, It's apparently big in college. Funnel a a beer up your ass. Yeah, that's right. you drink it out of the chick's ass. Well, you don't drink it out of the chick's ass, but they have a thing like this with a funnel with a tube, just like this beer bong this guy's doing, and... You put the tube in your butt, and then you just pour the beer in there, and you know your your intestines will soak up the alcohol. So you get drunk really quick that way. But like but, apparently people have died. Like They do it at frat houses. I'm willing to try it right now. You got one? <laughs> I'm sure you will, dude. He's spraying all of it. Oh, my God. old man tell me that there was nothing good left in the world and i actually believed that shit until i came here and seen all the titties well hold on a second an old Uh. man told me that there was nothing good in the world and then i came here 
and saw all the titties. Yes. <laughs> I didn't see that many titties yet. Dude, well, I've, I've seen a couple, but... A couple depressing I don't know if ones. they would... Yeah, exactly. I don't know if they would turn... I heard an old man tell me that there was nothing good left in the world, and I actually believed that shit until I came here and seen all the titties, all the weed, all the fast food. I mean... This- I'm not sure I'd well, lump well, fast food in there. He, he got me right now. <laughs> Those are all your favorite things, dude. I gotta say, he's luring me in. I all might right. be buying a ticket. <laughs> Guess what his next thing is going to say if it were you? What would, what would be your next favorite thing in the world? What would you What would you add to that list? Well, he's got the weed, he's got the food, and he's got bosoms. And, yeah, okay, so what else? I gotta say, he's pretty Stabbing much- people. Uh, st- he's <laughs> all stabbing. stabbing people. Of course, I forgot that. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so he's covered. He's got you should go. It says titties for a dollar. Titties for a dollar? Yes, it's a topless chick. And she has written on her stomach, titties. My boyfriend wrote it. For a dollar. My, my boyfriend wrote it. Okay. That's a... Uh, Dude, I told you this was a redneck swinger you fucking know, crazy man. I gotta say that's at least a set I could uh, play with. Also, w- what is the, what do you get for a dollar? She's already got him out. Yeah, you maybe get to kiss. You get him. to touch him. Yeah, I show my titties to everyone. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Getting money. Yeah, I gotta give mass money home. Thank. What? She's evidently this is her way to earn money, and it's just titties for a dollar, and the A is an anarchy sign. <laughs> but. Uh, People aren't going to pay you because you're giving them away for free. Right. I guess you, get to, you have to be able to touch them. Yeah. No. Woo! Oh, okay. no. She put oh, them away. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. Okay. More, oh, no. more, more, more naked chick with a terrible fucking hairdo. Jesus Christ. And she's fully naked. Yeah, fully naked. Do you think what is with the woo woo? Mm-hmm. It's like they watch that fucking. It's only in the morning. You're supposed to be up cooking somebody into breakfast or something. It's like an alarm clock. Woo woo. That's got to be what it's from. My my favorite has to be the pregnant girl. Wow. That's how I am. That's how I was born. You can't help me. You know? I'm happy. Man. Just events led up to me realizing. What? Any other questions? <laughs> no, I don't even understand what you're talking what? about. Sorry. This it? guy's so high. What right, questions? I'm from Massachusetts. These are my two little homies. Eight, he's eight and he's, ten, he's 11. He's 11. We're getting him started early. The, the white trash training school here. Wow. Is that first year here? I drove. I drove two days. Two days? I wouldn't drive two hours. Look at the kid. He's got an all access alcohol pass. <laughs> this, oh, this is cruel, man. These kids think they're going to a circus. They think they're going to be regular clowns there. Yeah. But no, these are not regular clowns. No. Listen, dude, did you look at their mother? There was Yo, no way right. that they think they were going to the Ringling Brothers. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the circus. We're the tigers. <laughs> Mom Sorry. brings all these fucking freaks every week. Dude. Your little homies, eight, he's eight and he's, he's 11. He's 11. Is that first year here? Good. I drove. I drove two days. Two days. Well worth it. Well worth it. 1,500 miles. Yeah. Wow. 1,500. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What do you guys think about it so far? Good. Good. Yeah, they're excited. They got their pictures with Violet J and Shags and Cosmo oh, King. Amazing. So they're excited. They're excited. We got our pictures taken with some white trash heroes. I'm who who are that. those people? I have no idea who you just <laughs> exactly. listed. Shaggy too dope and it's the fucking <laughs> Dude, if you watch the, the promo video for this event, uh-huh. they announce all these bands. They're all in that stupid clown makeup. And everyone's really? jumping around going, ah, bada, 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 bada. and it's just like, you're all the same fucking thing. <laughs> they can put together a festival with nothing but clown rap acts. Is that what you're saying? You got it. You got it. Yeah. Totally awesome. What's the message you want this guy What's the message? We're all fam. We're all fam. That's all it is. We're fam. Listen, it, it, if we're all family, why are we fucking? <laughs> we're family. You know what gets me is that this kid has to bring ha huh, to parent teachers night. At yeah. school. <laughs> Crazy. It's like, how the fuck do you really tell that parent that kid is fucking up in school? Uh, 
Do you I know. know. What I'm you think she's going to do anything about it? That kid is fucked up. It's, it's about true, true, straight, fucking trustworthy ninja hood right here. Okay. See, <laughs> okay. It's ninja hood. It's it's ninja hood. True. Straight. We throw down some tax so that you can't <laughs> walk in that area. Ninja hood. We have Chinese stars, but we're so fucked up on great alcohol that we can't fucking throw them. <laughs> These these people seriously scare me. <laughs> they really do, dude. And when you try to, can you describe your movement succinctly? It's straight up ninja hood. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. I'm glad that you can. Uh... We should. Yeah. yeah man, it, it's about true passion for the music, for the love, for the family, for everyone here. It's just united. You know, we're here on our Juggalo Islands. We're you put them like, on an island, yeah, dude. There's a smoke monster. Yeah. <laughs> Does he understand the land needs to be surrounded by water to be an island? <laughs> We're on like, here on an island in an Kansas. Island. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. It's, it's fucking paradise. And we get one week out of the year to be home. <laughs> wow. Dude, white, white. I mean, people need to concept the fact that this is more than gangs and drugs and slanging and color. You really haven't sold me no. on that. that All it's, we've it's, seen is gangs and clown makeup right. and, <laughs> and, and fat sluts. <laughs> and, and somebody sucking Freon out of an air conditioner. <laughs> and nothing else to this, dude. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. It's about a united nation. It don't matter your race, your size, your You can be as fat as you want, <laughs> eat, eat all sorts of crazy-ass fast food. You can, you can pee on your girlfriend. <laughs> we don't give a fuck because we're all family. You're dude, luring me in, lads. Dude, this, this this really is like like the Kiss Army has gone astray. It really like, is because they're all they've all got the fucked up face makeup. Ask your gender, what you're into, how you like it. As long as you claim the J U double G A L O, they're accepted, buddy. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. That, that's the that's the first decent chick. That I've seen at this whole thing. What makes you say that? Just her face. The one on the right or the one on the, <laughs> the left? The one on the right. Okay, they're two girls. They're topless, but they have they have clowns cl- painted on their boobs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, classic. There is no bigotry in juggaloism. We are. There's no what? There's no. There's no bigotry. There's no bigotry. There's it's also, like purgatory, but you can hate <laughs> black people. There's no also no grammar. I like. I used to live in bigotry, <laughs> yeah. and we had some people next door we didn't like because of their color. We said, welcome to Bigotory USA. Jesus. Not a bigot. We are fucking family through and throughout. It's- Dude, it's fat girls with shitty dreadlocks. That's what it is. It's fat girls with shitty dreadlocks. Now inside, not outside. <laughs> True life is inside your soul. True life is inside your soul. The new fragrance from Gavin Klein. <laughs> yeah. the fuck? It's like a Brad, it's like a Brad Pitt oh, fucking man. cologne commercial. Jesus. I am a juggalo. I'm an American juggalo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, look, it's the pregnant girl. Whoa, no, whooing. No. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and smoke me some Marlboro Reds <laughs> and let that clean goodness go down to Junior in my tummy. Yeah. Woo woo. Woo woo. Jesus. Unbelievable, isn't That's it? That's unbelievable. Can you please find that mystery song? Because I got I to gotta, I gotta listen to that just to let the lyrics set us straight, dude.